Hello! So, Yauk finished over a week ago now and I am still <laughs> recovering. It was just so overwhelmingly amazing and exciting and exhausting. Overall, I did really enjoy myself. However, there are a few criticisms. So this video is going to um, contain what I hope will be some thoughtful and considered thoughts about how Yauk could be improved. Um, as well as some enthusiastic praise. I really loved the programme of events that was put on. There were panels and workshops and although it was difficult to get into the workshops because they were doing a draw uh, from all the names of the people who'd signed up on the day, um, it was all really worthwhile. Um, I went to almost all of the, pa all of the panels. I um, missed the start of the first one because I didn't realise that if you didn't have a ticket you could stand at the back and I missed two because I was going to a workshop yeah. and the um, agent pitching session and I missed most of another one because I <laughs> needed to go to the loop. Um, more on that later. All the ones that I saw were really brilliant. Um, the panellists were already thought for. There was a bit of controversy at times, which livened it up, um, so it was fine really. And it was just really great to see people talking and getting so enthusiastically involved thinking about YA literature. The workshops that I went to, as I've already mentioned, um, one of them was the um, pitching agent session. Um, that was really useful actually. I was really nervous beforehand and I thought, oh my god, should I sign up for this? Um, but more than the 30 people who were normally allowed into a session had signed up. So I thought, okay, I'll put my name down and I'll let luck decide. I wasn't sure if I was ready or if um, it was a good idea. So I put my name down and as luck, luck, deci luck decided and I got a place and it was actually really useful. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Once I sat down I realised everybody else in there was terrified. Yeah, to be honest, it was clear on most people's faces how scared they were. Um and that made me feel better, you know, it made me feel normal. And so I went in and I spoke to the agent and I got some really useful feedback on um the pitch that I did for my novel. Um, which I'm going to take into account to improve my pitch and my plot. The other workshop that I went to was a um, graphic fiction workshop, which was also really good. I'm going to tangent into a little criticism here. The workshop area was um, just sort of on the side of the area. There wasn't any walls around it. I really think they could have put some of those kind of divider walls that they use around the photo shoots. Um, the shoot areas because that would have really helped with the noise. It was very very difficult to hear people talking um, during the graphic fiction workshop um, which was a shame because I would have liked to hear what the um, participants were saying. The um, workshops were really good, the people running them were knowledgeable so it's just more of a sort of layout problem really. I also really loved meeting people, it was so exciting to meet so many people um, I met a lot of people who I recognised off of Twitter and I met some other people who I didn't recognise but who recognised me because they watched Bookish Brits videos. Oh my god, it was the most exciting thing ever. Um, I talked to like three or four maybe even five people who were like, I recognise you but I don't know where from. When I mentioned the bookish Brits, they were like, oh my god, it's you! And I was like... <laughs> it was so awesome. I can't tell you how amazing it is. <laughs> I was like real life people watching these videos. So yeah, basically, that was really, that was really exciting. That was really cool. Um, hello, people who watch these videos. I know you're real now. <laughs> Anyway, then of course I um, met people who I haven't seen in ages. I, met, I um, spoke to Carly for a little while at the Yalk Fringe event, which was really, also really cool. And um, I, do, I think I might have only met her once before, maybe twice, so that was great. And I saw Michelle, um, 
concentrating on my fellow, fellow bookish Brits here, of course, um, um, who I haven't seen for a few months. I saw Lucy, um, Lucy the Reader on Twitter, and um, waved at her excitedly. Um, I think I was a bit awkward, but you know, it's Lucy. You can't help if you're starstruck when you meet Lucy. I also talked to government publishing people. Um, some publishers had some stalls set up. Um, there weren't as many as I expected to be, really. Um, I agree with I agree with Laura, um, sister Spooky. Um, she did a blog post about yeah about Yalk, and she pointed out that it was a shame that there weren't more publishers there because it was a really good opportunity for them to. Um, sell their books and have a representative there to talk to people about their books um, and it was really great I think for the publishers who were there I know that Hockey Books sold a lot of copies on Saturday I think it was over 150 which is amazing I would never have thought in a million years that they would sell that many books at Yalk but they did which really shows the enthusiasm um, what the people have for YA, I think, and um, how easy it is to sell books to people in real life. Also, final thing, um, it was cool that it was at LFCC because I got to see cosplayers and I love seeing people in cosplay. I It's not something I would do myself because I don't, I don't think I have the patience to spend so long creating an outfit that I'd only wear a couple of times, um, but I love seeing people do it. I really admire all the time and effort that people put into making these amazing looking costumes. I was just in awe. I just kept walking around and going, oh my god, that costume, it's so cool. It looks like it's actually off the TV show. Or like, oh my god, they could walk around a theme park in the outfit and everybody would think they belonged there. I was just, yeah, that was really cool. So on to the criticisms. So number one is the cues. Um, so everybody complained about the queue to get in, um, to be honest it was quite ridiculous, especially on Saturday, because it took me more, it took me almost an hour to get in, and I had an early bird ticket, and it took me so long to get in that I missed getting a ticket for the first panel. I, I mean I got there um, about quarter past nine I think, um, and, joined, and joined the end of the queue and it took so long to even find the end of the queue, it was truly ridiculous. On Sunday, I didn't queue as long because I got there earlier. After day one, there was no way that I was going to miss out on a, t on a ticket for any of the panels that I wanted to see for day two. So I got there earlier and I queued, and the queue was enormous, but I did seem to get in there a lot faster than I did on Saturday. And the thing is, once you got inside LFCC, that wasn't the end of the queuing. Because if you wanted to go to the loo, you had to queue. I queued for 10 or 15 minutes just to use the loo at one point. It was ridiculous. And while I was in that queue, I looked over at the food queue, which was even longer. And on Saturday, I only bought one bottle of water with me because I just thought I'll buy another one at the venue, you know? And I couldn't because if I joined the queue to get a bottle of water, I would have missed out on another panel. Another critic, another issue that is kind of a sister to the queuing issue with the crowds. It was very, very crowded. Once I got inside, I had to push through a huge queue um, just to get through to the book zone on Saturday. Again, the Sunday, nowhere near as bad. Not as crowded, not as hot, not as overwhelming. I think that the crowds on Saturday are really off-putting to a lot of people. I'm generalising here, but I think a lot of bookish people are quite introverted and not necessarily comfortable in large crowds. Even I, it just wasn't comfortable. My final criticism is that it didn't really fit in when, with LFCC. Yes, it was really cool to see the cosplayers and it was great that there was some crossover. You know, some people who went to Yalk did go around and look at and um, do some of the photo shoots and signings from LFCC. I noticed during the Doctor Who talk that a lot of people that I didn't see at any of the other panels um, did sit down and listen to that. But just in terms of space, it just kind of felt like it was just kind of plonked down at the back. And the area for the panels with the seats 
was right in the middle of two photo shoot areas. So you're sitting there, you're sitting there on your seats, and either side of all the seating were these massive, massive queues to get in to see people, and especially when Stan Lee was there for photo shoots, it was incredibly, incredibly crowded. And really, it should have taken about a minute to walk from the talk area to the toilet, or from the talk area to the area where the publishers were and the signings were. But it took way longer than that, just because of the crowds. And it was quite intimidating being surrounded by all these people who weren't there for Yauk, if that makes any sense. And having to weave your way around them just to get anywhere and do anything. Um, also, LFCC isn't really my thing. I'm not really interested in photo shoots and signings with celebrities, to be honest. So, um, it was a good thing that there were panels all day at Yauk, otherwise I wouldn't have had much to do. But then if there weren't going to be that many panels, I wouldn't have gone. <laughs> so it's fine. On to my hopes for the future. I think almost everybody who went to Yauk hopes that it could be a separate event in the future. I don't know how possible this is because it would of course require more funding um, and probably for more people to get in, in, on board. Um, for there to be more publishers involved, as I mentioned before. I think it would be really cool if there was more variety in the events. I know that some people were a bit disappointed by Yauk because they weren't interested in panels, so they went to a couple of signings and then they were just kind of sitting around talking to people. And it would be cool if there was more going on. I mean, there's so many people doing really cool things to do with YA. I'm sure you, with a bit of thought and maybe some more volunteers getting involved, they could make it more of a fuller, rounded, more rounded event. It would also be really cool to see more similar events around the country. Um, I don't think that Yark itself will probably leave London, and that's only because of publishers. I, most publishers are based in London, for publishers based in London to go to Yark. They don't have to put their staff in hotels, they don't have to transport books and equipment very far. It's not that difficult. Whereas if Yauk was based somewhere else, they would have to put the staff in hotels and all that, and the cost would quickly rack up. But it would be great to see more kind of YA literature festivals, um, maybe on a smaller scale around the country so that more people could join in, because we should be talking and thinking and coming together to celebrate YA a lot more. So tell me, what did you think of Yauk if you went? Um, if you didn't go to Yauk, um, is there anything similar going on near you? Um, would you like there to be anything similar going on near you? You probably would, that's a bit of a silly question, isn't it? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video and, and subscribe to Bookish Brits if you haven't already. And you'll see me again in a couple of weeks.